Hey you guys, Yuri Lamas Vega here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm Yuri Lamas Vega. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick get unready with me. Um, I know I've filmed quite a bit of get ready with me's, so I just wanted to get on here really quickly and show you my routine for when I'm ready to go to sleep. And I've had a face full of makeup on. Um, today I went to a baby shower, my cousin's baby shower, and it's a boy. Um, but anyway, I've had this makeup on all day and I'm like just ready to take it off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a quick get unready with me. I'm actually going to be trying a new product. So I was contacted by Duval Brands and they wanted to send me over their Radiant Spin Care System product um, just so I can review it and try it out. So I'm going to be incorporating that in my get unready with me and it's going to be our first impression. Uh, I haven't even opened the package. I will be opening it on camera for the first time with you all and we'll be trying it out for the first time. So before we opened her up I did do a quick research on this product on the Duval website and I noticed that this product um, requires AA batteries so if you do decide to purchase this product and you think this is something for you just make sure you have some AA batteries um, so you can go ahead and use it but okay we're gonna get started I'm gonna try really hard not to be like vulnerable because you guys are gonna see me like with no makeup on but you guys see me with no makeup on all the time so I just need to remember that and put that in my head because if not I'm gonna freak myself out so yeah I'm pretty excited and we're gonna jump right in Hey baby girl, roll down your window I love to see your hair flow when the wind blows Even if the money been slow Take to you, it don't matter Cause you still gon' ride with me You still gon' ride with me I say you still gon' ride with me Okay, so I'm gonna start my process by taking off these lashes. I don't know about you guys, but like after a long day like, and I take off my lashes, my eyes just feel like so much better but I look so different without any lashes like look at look at how crazy I look already okay so we're gonna move on to the next step so if I come home and I'm really tired and I'm really like drunk or I'm just not in the mood and I just want to go to sleep I will just grab a quick makeup remover wipe um, I love the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes those are absolutely one of my go-to's um, I use those so when I am fully functional and I can spend a little extra time on my face I really really love to go in using this organic coconut oil it's by Better Body Foods I absolutely love it it's naturally refined it's really good for your skin the this is my first step when I'm taking off my makeup. So I have like, I already have like this little handle in there and I just grab a little bit because a little bit really does go a long way. And the way that I have this stored, it actually can maintain in a solid form. Um, but once I go ahead and put it on my face with this little applicator here, it's gonna melt right off. So I just use a little bit and I go in. And you'll already see like this makeup melting off my face. It's really, really gross. The warmth of your face is gonna melt all of the coconut oil, so it's not gonna stay in that solid consistency. It's definitely gonna melt and turn into liquid, which is essentially what you want it to do because you're able to play with it on your face better. But you wanna make sure you just have that small amount so you can maintain control and make sure it's like not going everywhere. So if you can see like my hands, like they're just full. You can see my hands are just like full of my makeup. It's really, really gross. Okay, so after I've put on all of the coconut oil on my face, I quickly just move on. Like, it's not something that I let sit on my face. Um, specifically because my face is really super oily, so I don't want anything that's going to help contribute to my oily skin or anything like that. To move on, I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipe. Sorry, I had it the wrong way. Um, I'm going to grab one of those wipes, and I'm going to just take it off. And the makeup, look at this. The makeup remover wipe, like from Neutrogena, is already really good. I mean, you don't really need that much help, but this, like the coconut oil, just really helps break down all of the makeup that's on your face and it's going to help you just take it off. I look crazy. 
If you don't have the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, you can definitely use a baby wipe. Sometimes when I've ran out of the makeup remover wipes, I go in with a baby wipe and it does the same thing only because the magic here is the coconut oil. And you'll see that like it removes so much makeup off your face. It's insane. Look at this. Look at how gross that is. Oh my God. Who are you? Look at that. Uh, how gross is that? Look at all that dirt and oil that we voluntarily like put on our face. That's really gross. Okay, so now we're ready to try the Duval Radiant Spin Care System. I have her right here. Um, box not open yet, so we're gonna go ahead and open her up. And let's see what we got. So this is her. This is what she looks like. Called the Radiant Spin Care System. It has four interchangeable accessories. It has a facial exfoliation brush. It has a large body cleansing brush, a facial cleansing brush, and a pumice stone. And then it has the little machine there. Okay, we're gonna open her up. Oops. All right, so this is what you're getting. My, oh, I just dropped my pistol. This is what you're getting. Oh my God, keep dropping This is what you're getting. I can't show you guys without dropping stuff. Okay, so it comes with the instructions. I'm gonna read this really quickly, but I'm gonna read it off camera um, because I don't want to sit here and let you guys watch me as I am reading this. Okay, so now that we're ready to use the tool, I went ahead and inserted the four AA batteries needed for this unit to operate efficiently. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and use two out of the four components that we got. So I just wanna walk you through them really quickly. And I learned all of this by reading through the instructions. The first component included in this is a pumice stone. Now it looks like this, it's kinda of like that hard rock material. So you're gonna to wanna to use this for your feet. Um, and we're not gonna do my feet on camera today. We're not doing that. We're just gonna be doing my face. The second component is the body brush. It looks like this, it's the biggest one. It feels really nice and soft. Um, you want to use it all over the body. Typically, I think the easiest way to do this is in the shower, but we're about to go to bed and we're not going to be doing that. So the two components that we are going to be using are the facial cleansing brush. It's this small one right here. It looks like this. It feels really, really soft. And then we're going to be using the exfoliation brush, which is this one here. Sorry, I'm trying to grab it. And it looks like this. Okay, so we're gonna start this process off by using the facial cleansing brush. Now the way the instruction lays it out, it says the facial cleansing brush gently removes ex excess dirt and makeup residue from your skin and is great to use prior to exfoliation. So we're gonna do this one before we exfoliate. It says gently move the facial cleansing brush across your face while moving in a circular motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the component on the unit here. I'm gonna damp my face and I'm actually gonna apply the cleanser on my skin and then go in with the unit and the component and just brush it through. I think that's probably gonna be the easiest, most efficient way to do it. For cleanser today, I will be going in using the Garnier Skin Active Sulfate Free Cleanser. It's a bottle that looks like this. Um, it is a drugstore product so you can pick it up at CVS or Walmart or a Target. A huge reason why I absolutely love this product is because it is super gentle on the skin and it has no sulfates, no oil, no soap, no alcohol, and no fragrance. So if you have really irritable prone skin, sensitive skin, dry skin, anything like that, this is going to help hydrate without burning your skin off. You can rest assured that this product is not going to irritate your skin. Okay, so I'm going to damp my face. I'm going to damp the face. So the instructions did not say whether to apply the cleanser either on the face or on the brush, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the skin first just so I know that it's even all over the skin. All right, so now I'm ready to go in with the unit and the component. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I used a brand new brush, and you can see the component is really dirty, and it's definitely makeup residue from my foundation, um, probably along with a lot of oils and dirt um, that has accumulated throughout the day. I can definitely feel the freshness on the face already. The bristles were really soft on the face. I definitely recommend to use a light, light hand when using this unit because the, the more you press on your skin, the rougher it's going to feel. When I first started, I was like, oh, it's a little rough, but I noticed that I was just being really heavy handed. Um, and once I lightened up the pressure um, on the unit, it was just like a lot better. Okay, so before we move on to exfoliate, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this off so I have a nice damp face. Okay, so I've washed off the cleanser and now I'm ready to exfoliate using the exfoliator component with this unit. In the instructions, it says, the exfoliation brush is made of very soft bristles, specially designed for tender facial skin. For best results, be sure to wash your face prior to treatment to ensure your skin is free of any residue. So step one, apply brush with your favorite cleanser. Gently move the brush across your face while moving the unit in a circular motion. And then it says apply the brush flat to your face, not at an angle. For exfoliator today, we're going to be going in with the Garnier Skin Active Glow Boost. This is a two-in-one mess and scrub product. It's a vegan formula and the bottle says it's made without parabens, dyes, silicones, and sulfates, which is absolutely amazing. So in the instructions, this specifically did say to apply the product on the component. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to damp my face just a little bit more because my face has dried since I've been talking so much. And then I'm also going to damp the component and then put some product on it just to make sure there's water throughout the entire process because of course you know when you exfoliate your face it could be really dangerous if you don't have enough water to help you know the process go more smoothly. So my face is damp. I'm going to go ahead and damp the component too and then apply the product to it and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay so now that the component is damp I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this product here and I'm just going to put it on the brush. All right so now we're going to get started. Okay, so um, this isn't really necessarily a bad thing, but I notice that there's just a lot of product um, that kind of just seeped in to the component, and I can't tell you that if it's like used or not. I don't know if it's some, I don't know if it's product that um, came from off of my face, or if it just seeped in because I applied the product onto the brush. So I know the instructions do say to apply the exfoliator um, onto the brush and then apply it onto your skin. I would probably recommend deviating from that a little bit and applying the product on your face just so you know that there's an even layer on your skin um, and you don't have, I have some exfoliator on me, and that you don't um, miss any areas and that it also doesn't get like lost in the component and then you can't use that. Um, so that's just my one recommendation. Other than that, it, the bristles were really, really gentle on my skin. Like I said, it's very important that you use a soft hand with this. Do not go in with a heavy hand because if you do, then you're gonna start to irritate your skin. Okay, so last but not least, now that my skin has been cleansed and exfoliated, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some moisturizer just before I go to sleep. My face is feeling a little bit dry I'm gonna go ahead and apply this moisturizer however I'm not gonna apply it on um, this these blemishes that I have I have these two blemishes and I just don't think it's really safe to apply any product over it 
even if it is moisturizer, I want those um, pimples and that acne to dry out. For moisturizer today, I will be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is an instant turnaround moisturizer and it hydrates the skin really, really well. I absolutely love this product, Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> oh, look, you can see me. Here we are. Okay, I said that I wasn't going to apply moisturizer onto my blemishes, and I definitely just did. It's like the first thing. <laughs> it's like the first place I apply this moisturizer to. Like, God, that's crazy. Okay, you guys, I feel good. I feel nice and cleansed and moisturized. My skin feels amazing. I feel like I'm ready to just knock the out. So when it comes to my nighttime routine and taking off my makeup um, after a really long day, these are still the same products that I use. The only thing that was different was incorporating the Duval Radiance Spin Care System components and unit. My final thoughts on it, I think it's great. I think that the exfoliator brush is a lot softer than the cleanser brush. Um, that could just be because an exfoliator is obviously a little more um, harsh on your skin because of the little beads that it has. I do think that that was purposely created that way, um, like I said, because an exfoliator is going to be just a little harsher on your skin, whereas the cleanser is like nice and soft, so they're probably just trying to get, you know, just some more durable some more durable bristles on your cleanser versus your exfoliator you gotta be just a little bit more gentle um, which is great I think they really catered to the exfoliator and the cleanser when it comes to the body brush it feels exactly like the cleanser brush only bigger and the pumice stone I don't think that it's not gonna work because it's just a pumice stone and when you use it with a unit it's just gonna you know help circulate it just you know a little faster in like a one hand motion but otherwise I think the product is great I think it does its job um, I really appreciate Duval um, taking the time to send this to me so I can review it on my channel as always if you have any questions regarding any products that we used in today's video feel free to sign up in the comment section below but I will be as detailed as I can be in the description. Otherwise, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Yuri Lamas Bella, and I'm so, so thankful that you've come across my channel. I really hope you'll stick around and subscribe. You guys probably think I look really crazy because I'm wearing like no makeup and I look insane. But anyway, I'm about to take off my contacts, brush my teeth, and then go bed. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next one.